Hey everyone, I'm back with another tip about what to do if your edible ink printer isn't printing a color or if it's printing a color wrong or if it, the test pattern says that it's printing but it's really not. And that ha does happen sometimes. It happened to me just today. So I have two of my printers stop printing the magenta. It's always magenta, I don't know why. But the edible ink printer stopped printing the color. So I cleaned out the printer heads. They seem to be okay but it's just printing really light. And I want to show you, this is the first example. I printed these edible butterflies um, on the, t the printer I'm going to be looking at. And they just seem very light to me. And usually I like the colors to be a little bit darker. So I did this one trick. And this is the color that the new ones came out. So here's, this is before. And this is after. All right, so you can see that the the ones that are the second print are a lot darker. I'm going to show you what I did now and sometimes it's not the printer head, it's the cartridge and that was the case in this situation. So I'll show you that next. Alright, so now you have a lovely view of my garbage can but I'm doing that for a reason and I'm going to show you right now. I've taken the cartridge out of the printer and you can, if you look at the, the sponge on the cartridge, you, sometimes you'll see that it looks like it's really dry and it's not absorbing the ink. This little um, stopper here, I'm trying to think of the word, this little stopper when you pull that out it releases the vacuum and the ink will flow from the reservoir into the sponge and if it's flowing freely it should start dripping out of the little hole that's on the bottom of the cartridge. So I'm going to do that over the garbage can and okay let me see if I can get this so that you guys can see it dripping. I'm going to pull the stopper out and that will release the vacuum and you want to wait until it drips and you'll see the level of the ink in the reservoir start to drop. There it goes. And then put the stopper back in. Okay, once you know that the ink is flowing through the cartridge and going into the printer, you can put it back in the machine and that might actually solve the problem. That's what I did this morning and it did give me that difference in the two prints. And I'll show you another one that was different and this is another reason why I knew that it wasn't going through the printer. So let me show you that one. Alright, so I had printed this sheet of dragonflies, which are supposed to be blue, and they came out very teal, and you know, depending on the printer, sometimes that's what happens. But then I did this trick to get the ink flowing, make sure it was going, and this is the color that the new ones came out. So you can see that there's more magenta in the mix here. There wasn't enough going through the machine here, and that's why they came out so green, and that's why the, the pink and purple butterflies came out so light. So if you get a situation where you've cleaned the printer head, the printer is still not printing a specific color dark enough or it's just not working at all, try that and see if it helps because sometimes the sponge just isn't absorbing the ink and if you let the vacuum release and it goes all the way through that'll fix the problem. It's a simple fix and sometimes you can try that before you clean the printer head because that might solve the problem. If you have any questions please post them below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you thought this was helpful and I will talk to you guys later.